We're back to talk about severe weather once again. Woodbury and Dakota counties are under a tornado warning. If this is you, you are urged to take cover immediately. We go now to Brian Allen. He has the latest on this severe weather situation. Brian? Don, you couldn't be more right. Take cover immediately. If you are in a house, try to get to the lowest level of whatever building you're in and also try to get under some sort of heavy structure in that basement, whether that be a workbench, a pool table, whatever. Cars and mobile homes, they need to be abandoned right now. Try to flatten yourself out in a ditch. Basically, what you need to be doing in Dakota and Woodbury County now is seeking shelter immediately. We have two possible tornadoes, one between Hubbard and Dakota City, a funnel cloud that's trying to gather energy and trying to form in a tornado. And they are also saying now that they are seeing signs of rotation three miles west of the Sioux Gateway Airport, prompting the tornado warning for western Woodbury County. Both of these storms moving to the north at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Once again, Dakota and Woodbury counties, you need to be taking cover immediately. Radar out of Norfolk continues to show a very intense, severe cell. You see it right there, that red cell. That in indicates intense, moderate, heavy, and that is exactly what's happening in this area right here. And this is more likely than not the storm that is trying to prompt two separate tornadoes, one in Dakota and one in Woodbury County. Once again, we can't stress this enough. Seek shelter now. We do have a tornado watch that's in effect until 8 o'clock tonight. If we can cut to that graphic, it's for sections of northwest Iowa. In fact, let's just go ahead and give you the county outline. Counties in northwest Iowa that are under the tornado watch tonight until 8 o'clock, they include Ida, Cherokee, Harrison, Monona, and Woodbury counties. And the counties in northeast Nebraska under this tornado watch tonight until 8 o'clock are Boone, Burt, Colfax, Cumming, Dakota, Greeley, Madison, Nance, Platte, Stanton and Thurston counties. Now, once again, we must make the differential. A tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the formation of tornadoes. Tornado warning means that a funnel cloud or a tornado has been spotted. We also have some flash flooding to tell you about. A flash flood watch that continues for much of northeast and east central Nebraska. A flash flood warning in effect for Holt County for this evening. And I believe that we also do have a second flash flood warning in effect until 9 o'clock tonight for Dixon County. And we also have a flash flood warning. Uh, excuse me, until, for Burke County until 6 o'clock tonight. And basically what this means is that flooding in these areas is possible in the case of a watch is occurring in the case of a warning. Basically these storms, in addition to having a lot of tornadic potential, they also uh, have a lot of moisture in them. They have the potential of dropping a lot of rain over the same place in a short amount of time. You also have to keep track of the flooding potential in northeast Nebraska this evening. Current temperatures, you can see that we are centered right in the middle of an unstable atmosphere as we fly those in. Look at the differential between temperatures. 52 Worthington, 56 Spencer, 7 76 Omaha, 69 Denison, 72 in Sioux City, 58 in Yankton, 53 in Sioux Falls. 50s on the outer edges. As you begin to come in, you see your 60s, and then right in this corridor right here, you're seeing those 70s. The technical definition of an unstable atmosphere, warm, moist air clashing with cooler air, and we are seeing the ramifications of that tonight in the form of the severe weather that we've seen this afternoon probably will continue into this evening as well. Satellite picture, watch this right here. This is the area of low pressure. This is what is developing our storms. As we put this into motion, watch as this travels to the north and to the east. Basically, it's right on top of us. You can see there's the counterclockwise spin, basically at the confluence of South Dakota, Iowa, and Nebraska, basically right on the state lines right there. Counterclockwise spin, bringing all this back. Here comes your warm, moist air from the south, meeting with the cooler atmosphere from the north. Warmer air overrides the cooler air. There's your unstable atmosphere. There are your severe thunderstorms and your potential tornadoes right here in this area. Air masses combining unstable atmosphere right in this area. National Radar tornado watches continuing for western Iowa, sections of eastern uh, Nebraska and also a section there of north central Kansas, eastern Kansas and western Missouri. This corridor right here continues to be under the gun for potential tornadoes tonight. Currently, here's the situation that we are dealing with. Going back to that satellite picture, I showed you that low pressure system. Here is basically what it's doing. Counterclockwise spin, here's the area of moisture that's basically in front of the funnel boundary that's associated with that low pressure system. There is good news, hopefully. By tomorrow, this will continue to trend off to the north and to the east. We'll see some backlash showers, hopefully, but any severe potential will probably be limited now to sections of Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, the Ohio River Valley. High pressure trying to build in tomorrow, and then by Monday, it continues to track on to the northeast. High pressure should be in control, hopefully. There's a silver lining to this cloud, hopefully. Memorial Day will possibly be sunny. Let's sure hope so. Well, we started the day out at 55, warmed things up to 73. Normal daytime high would be 77. We were close on that. Record high, 92 back in 1895. 1992, we saw a record low of 34 degrees. So far in the precip department, one and 
well, excuse me, 1.10 inches of rain. We're at 10 and 13 hundredths for the year, and we are at close to two and a half inches above normal. Well, let's go to forecast details. Remembering that we do have a tornado watch in effect until 8 o'clock tonight. We're calling for 56 degrees for your overnight low. Showers continuing. Winds out of the northeast at 15 to 20 as that low pressure continues. It's counterclockwise spin basically right on top of us. Tomorrow looking for showers to continue with 62 degrees. Northwest winds at 15 to 25. And then Monday, hopefully things will clear out. We'll see some leftover cloud cover, though. A daytime high of 70. Five-day extended forecast. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday all look to be partly sunny. 71, 73, 76 respectively. And can we go back to radar for just a second out of Norfolk to check the latest update? There we see that possibly that cell is weakening. There still is moderate to intense levels, though, continuing to show in sections of eastern Dakota and western Woodbury County. And we do need to remind you once again that we are under a tornado warning. Western Woodbury County, eastern Dakota County until 645 this evening. Back to you, Don. All right, thanks a lot. Of course, that tornado warning means to take cover immediately. This means abandoning all cars, vehicles, campers, motor vehicles. This means finding yourself a basement or a safe place where you can take cover from these tornadoes. Once again, recapping from earlier, Homer, Nebraska has reported hail and seeing some funnel clouds. Winnebago, Nebraska said they had a tornado down on the ground. Plymouth County, south of Lamar, saw a tornado. Along with Wayne, Nebraska, we have spotters out uh, from Dakota, Thurston, Woodbury, and Plymouth. Counties, and we have a reporter on the scene, Sahar El Hodiri. She's tracking this storm. We'll have more news and weather for you throughout this half hour. Please stay tuned to Channel 9.